PSL, there are deals that you can see that are this way. That was a fave. Mm. I'm worried about our left, particularly our left. Do you know? Do you know my issue with Solomon? Uh, like that combo is all of that came. Matlo, Solomon, Matlat. Uh, so in that number ten that you wanted, but he's not giving us that every game. My conversation with Tando continues, and in this video we talk about the players that KZ Chiefs needs to sign, the players that KZ Chiefs might not particularly need, and the issues with some of the players that we have at Kaiser Chiefs. I hope you enjoy and also comment letting us know what you think. Obviously, don't forget to do the nice things. Liking the video if you're enjoying it, disliking it if you're not, and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Which players should we sign at Kaiser Chiefs? What positions? Norma, which player specifically? But which positions do you think that Chiefs should be signing. I'm I'm going to go from keeper, defense, midfield, and strikers. Okay. Uh, I think we need a keeper. We need an extra keeper. I know Vuma is there mm -hmm. and started playing and is doing well. But I think we need to go. Kune is nearing um, his end of his career. Um, so we must accept that. So we need, and we've seen Brendan. Uh, although me, I'm not mad at Brendan. You know, my, I'm his fan. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think it's going to take us anywhere more, more than he has in the past. So I do think we need a keeper. And I think we need a number one keeper. Not a keeper who's going to sit on the bench. I was going to ask that to Are you saying one. a bench we keeper need... or number one? No, no, no. We need to, we need to number one. We need to number who, one. Who though in um, SA, Uba and Loy, who can do that? I, I, I can't. I, can't. I, 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 I really, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, when you speak, when you speak, I was thinking about this today. Like, when you speak about ah, people need to sign quality players, it's not like K PSL is this land of quality players. Mm. Like there's milk this and honey <laughs> of milk and none of quality. <laughs> we understand? Yeah. You know, like it's not like we have. So uh, we have to look at okay. That's why my issue. I don't know, maybe and maybe I'm digressing, but that's why my issue. Like when people speak about the national team, like yo, yeah, the quality players. I don't know which quality players. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Like no, we love quality players. Which, Which quality ones? players, guys? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not like we have this, this. That's what I'm thinking. Even what's being said now about what's being said now about is it Mabali? Mabali, yeah, no, but... the cheaper United game. I see people want him a chin, and I'm very skeptical. And I've watched him. I still don't think he's at the level. But I think with our goalkeeper. Okay, the assistant goalkeeper coach, Urai. What, what's his name? Um, the one who just came back now, Matal. Yes, I'm um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not counting that one on a 10 day course of goalkeeping. <laughs> I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not counting yet. So uh, I'm not so so I think maybe he can improve, but also I think the responsibility of Keza Shin mm. of to go and scout. We don't have a, that's one of the issues. Maybe we possibly will talk about one day the issue of scouting at Kansas mm. That department, we need to reinforce that department. Mm. We fired a couple, of, we let go of a couple of people in that department, and we seemingly had no no um, scouting department. Yeah, for for them. So I think now I can say, but as a fan, I can just understand that we are struggling there. Mm. But it's their responsibility then to go and scout for. I know they're also seeing that. Was struggling there. Yeah. So one would be keeper, and I don't know which. I don't want to. Like, I don't. I don't have a keeper that I can say it's on top of my list. Um, I've watched the one for or or Richard Spey. I forgot. I forgot their name now. Mm. Yeah, that Richard Spey keeper, and um, yeah. But there's no one else for me. I can say, let's go get it. But I can say as a fact that we are struggling there. Mm. So I think it's their responsibility. They have the resources to. Get as a quality keeper, not necessarily from PSL. They can go anywhere and get us a keep. Um, I'm happy with the CPs, man. I don't want to lie. I still think that we should keep Ulanduk Ungobo there. Mm -hmm. Um, we should keep Ungobo. Our CPs, I'm happy with. I don't, I don't want anyone to leave there. Um, the area that I'm worried about is our wing backs. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about our left, particularly our left back, Kutland. Um, he's in his last six months. Mm. He has not been doing well. For at a case of just for a while, <laughs> at all. So, I think that's one, 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 one um, area that we should really. I think in terms of priorities, because 
we can see that okay, we're not gonna sign next year, but we still have Ubuma, we still have Brendan. Mm. You understand? But that one, that one is very critical for us. Mm. That we should be signing a left back, one or two even, yeah. not just one, two left backs, because clearly there's they don't no want starter. to play Martian. They don't. They, they, exactly. There's, <laughs> there's no, no starter. They there's don't no think pickup. Martian is capable. <laughs> so I think we should go and get a left back. At least as two. Right back, I do think we should get also go and get a start. I know we have Solomons. I know we have Frostler there. Mm. But both of them, to me, have been very underwhelming in the past seasons. I particularly with Frostler. I was had a good season, I think, two years ago. I think under Kevin Hunt, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he played there. But after that... But uh, yeah, the thing that, with the Solomons, been, Tando, he's not been given a chance to whelm. So we cannot say he's been underwhelming if he hasn't been given a chance to even whelm. There is no such word as whelm, but I'm just taking it from do, under. Do, <laughs> do you know? Do you know my issue with Solomon? Uh, Me personally, my issue is not that he's a shit. I never wanted him even when he was before he even came. <laughs> before he came, like that combo is all of that came. Matlo, Solomon, Matlat. Uh, why? Who are these people? Why? <laughs> I never wanted them at Kesa. Honestly speaking, I was like, I never rated them. Yeah. So that's why when I watch them, now I'm like, I was okay, right. I'm still not impressed by <laughs> Solomon's like, Matlati. Do you understand? Like, it feels like in PSL, there are deals that you can see that oh, this way, that was a favor. Mm. You understand? Okay, this was a favor. This was a favor. You can see those deals like us. Which is weird, because If though. you ask me... <laughs> it's weird because... <laughs> that's how they were that's key mainly. for Swallows and Chiefs did not actually need them in a way because one that, that puzzled me. Right now, Matlo, I would say I like him for a different reason because I feel like he has a fighting spirit which I think most of our players lack. Even when Nusa Stadium, Yambona is trying to hype the crowd. Come on. I don't know how many Chiefs players I still do that. Very few. But most of the times, if Umato fights for the ball, because it's a 10, but he will fight for the ball. And he's like, come on, guys. Yabon, or if you know Captain Beto, they don't do that. But Umato will do that. He fights. That's what I appreciate about him. And I never see him dejected a grounding. So... That aside, but when it was signed, I was like, okay, one for the future. But Chiefs has a lot of one for the futures from that development. <laughs> Why would they bring another one for the future? Given <laughs> how much time he had played at, 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 at Swallows, that was my at issue, Swallows, yeah. right? That was my issue. But then what? I was like, okay, so Bayega, because he has some attributes that under good coaching, under good coaching can be developed into being a good player. But yeah, no. Kube. Maybe, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. If you get a good coach and we just give him a chance, particularly him, not to Solomon, Garcia, no Mato. Because Mato, the issue, one of the issues, one is over above injury. He has injury issues. Too many. Right? Mm. He's just not consistent. He's just not consistent. So he'll play three games. The first game you can see, I think. The the only game I can go back to say is Matlo here. To me, he was. I think it was. Was it the MTN second leg against Sundowns where I felt like, yeah, yeah we had Matlo. This is the Matlo. Mm. This is the Matlo that I would like to see mm. every game. Yeah. But the next game after that, God disappeared. Mara is there. He's playing. Mm. Game after that, God. Game after that, he was on the bench. And so then there's there was no a consistency. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying mm. to say? So, um, he has, when you watch what he did against Anand, you're like, oh, he has the capability, yeah. he has the potential. Mm. Why can't he do that on the nightly basis for 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 Ikeza mm. Shield? Because he's the type of player we need at Keza Shield. Yeah. He's able to create chances out of nowhere. Mm. You understand? Mm. He's the type, he's that number 10 you want. The one, not a woman to dance at. <laughs> not a woman to dance at. <laughs> and respectfully, respectfully to him too. I liked him, but... I, I liked him. I liked the D in the end. <laughs> I liked him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. But, so in that number 10 that you wanted, but he's not giving us that every game. Mm. And to me, it's a concern. Um, I want a player that 
you can have of game in a season, but you can't have 18 or 19 of game. The, you, understand? you know what you're talking. You get one game in every five games. Now that you are saying that, though, it, it's bringing up Nji Nyatai Kresamanj. Who has mm. own games? Who's been playing the entire season? Because Kwa Kona Lapai, I cannot, for the life of me, think of one player. Maybe Dupree. Who, 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 who to Maybe, yeah. Maybe Dupree, but everyone no. else. <laughs> okay, inconsistent. Uh, there is no right. other player that right. I can say is consistently consistent achieves. So I, I, that's why if you would have if you'd have PSL team of the season, you will not have a Kesha Chiefs player. And people get mad about that. Get mad. <laughs> like, you would not have a Kesha Chiefs player mm. in PSL team of the season. Like it's, it's what you, that question is a valid question. Who's been consistent in Kesha Every game we are born okay. This player, we understand mm. all of them. Two games, the city disappeared. Even Castro, we like him, Castro. Mm. We really do. But sometimes he disappears, no quite. Mm. So you, the consistency is not there. So we don't have like we can get a player that would be consistent at least ten games. Yeah, just back to back, back to back, ten games. I think that's one of the things you need in a team consistency for you to even compete for a league. Exactly, you exactly. need consistency. Mm. For you to compete for the league, you need to be consistent in the results. But the performance of the players, we can even go one to one. There's not a single player. Like we said, maybe if we, we are even saying with Tupri, it's maybe. Mm. We're not saying he's <laughs> beat. We're saying maybe Tupri. Yeah. <laughs> and Putin is the Mbala because he fights defensively. But offensively, he's doing too much work going back. Mm. That's true. Yeah. So we don't have, man. We don't have. We don't have a consistent player at Kezashim. And what is what is the reason for that? Coaching. Is it the players? <laughs> or combination of both? Uh, yeah, but I do want to say, and we should not be seen as yeah, as saying that, oh, the coaching, the problem that Kesha is coaching. I do think that the players should take some form of responsibility. Effects. Because I do not care what happens to Unseiki, whatever, when Nikama instructions are in. You just when as a player, when you see eighty thousand people watching you, mm. what happens to you as a player? You like, I want to prove, I want to be. You can't just do, you can't perform like that. I don't care what the coach says. True, I think it's one thing that I've been complaining about. You cannot have players gaining weight playing for Chiefs. You cannot be gaining weight because that's not a coaching issue. That's your personal discipline issue. You cannot be gaining weight. Mm. That's disrespectful to all of us as fans because we're expecting you That's to true. be at your tiptoe uh, 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 shape. Like, you can't just... But here to see these things, we see people be poos. Because... But no one has to write in king. No eating right. Players in Europe are under strict dietary instructions. in Europe are under strict dietary instructions. This is what you eat. Ah, mauzo yo lala kumele gula luengo eight the previous day ongo ten ngo ten x ten x you breakfast you cannot be eating after twelve. Oh, ngo buzo lala ngo three. Oh, zobonu mzalo chief said liku yango one kote ya lala ngo three. But <laughs> but anyways, it's just one of those disciplinary issues that I feel like are still there. But as kube as kube as nama signings are. No, I was saying yes, it's yes, yes. no, I was just start to. I had done that before we go on. Mm. Bro, like I keep saying to people, and that's what players need to understand. When you go watch Kaiser I saw you going to Cape Town. Mm. Bro. Ne? You went to Cape Town. Twice. That's a risk for you. Twice. Like you understand the risk that you take yeah. going to watch your team. Yeah. And I was so sad when I saw a tweet from someone saying that, oh, I think it was the final of that MTN 8 final mm. where Someone from San Francisco was saying, yo, we lost two or three people um, on our way back from the final. What was, yeah. you understand? And man, this is what happens, bro. This is what happens. If people take this for goal. At least show them that respect. Mm. That's all I ask mm. from the players. Forget the coaching. You as a player, when you know this, what this person Bet sacrificed presents. to be here. Yeah. You know, just as a player, forget the coaching. Mm. Just as a player, sure. what I do think you have the capabilities to do good. Mm. So I think that was the point for me. Um, 
like I said, number okay, we said left back and right back. Mm. And we spoke about Solomon. So you do think that is a starter, but I do think we should get another right back for me. A um, starter, not a pick-up. I think we should. Yeah, a, a starter, a right back, a starter. Someone who's good defensively, who's good when you're going forward. Because you'll find that with Frosla going good when he's going, and then it's bad. Then you know, sometimes it's good in both, sometimes it's bad in both. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Solomon, sometimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> going into midfield, <laughs> Going to midfield, I think um, with our, I'm not, I'm not mad at our DM. I think let's 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 keep them there. I like them uh, I'm not mad. At our midfield are really. I'm not in. I want a number ten at Kesashi. That's all I want. Mm. I think we do have number ten, but I don't think they have the capabilities of what we want from a number ten. We thought by starting him to two years late, it's gonna fix our problem. Mm. It's not gonna fix our problem. You can see if football here yeah, amba kumtu. Yeah. Umtu not not to chabala alum Tanzania. Tanzania ma. From Cape Town State. Mm. Yeah, um Tanzania. So so I I do think we need a ten um in that midfield. Uh, as far as O oh, number ten and number eight, look we have some colours and I'm not mad there. We have Abu Mat, we have you know, we have Abu Castillo, mm. we have Um Teto. So it I'm pe- really not mad there. It's it ten in case. still packed. So <laughs> That's a problem. Mm. Return linking, and I think those players with good coaching will get something there. Mm. We understand we'll be fine. So I'm not really mad. I don't think we, we should go out and sign another DM yeah. or another CM. Nah, I mean, we me can. Na, na. We, we understand. Mm. So I'm fine with that. At number ten, we need a number ten, a very good number ten. Mm. I don't ask me where we'll get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but they must go and find us a number 10. Yeah. That's all they need to do. <laughs> with our wingers, with our wingers, um, I'm happy with the mode. I think sometimes Naima, he's a bit inconsistent. I don't know what happens to him sometimes. Like, I don't know whether he doesn't want to play or, you know, what happens to him. But I think I'm happy with him. The player that I'm not happy with is our winger, Ngo. Said. It's two, actually. It's two, yes. Uposan, I don't think. And that signing, I don't understand until today. That's another. He was signing. available, really Baba. We know when a player is available, <laughs> Chiefs goes out. He was available. <laughs> that signing is 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 I it shocks me to this day, but it's fine. Um, Usaiile, my problem is I have to be clear because people think I hate him. I don't hate him. I think he has the capabilities of being a good wing. Mm-hmm. It's just once me, I see a player which lacks basics. Yeah. I just get turned off. Yeah. Like, once I see you lack basics, like you can't control a ball, mm. that's a basic thing. You can't shoot properly, that's a basic thing. I'll because he can. what it does is, he <laughs> cannot hear, no, I don't mention he can Because the same quality is an angle that was. <laughs> until this day, that semi final of parades, net bank, yeah. where he had the ball straight, where he came from. I think you should look for him, see, kind of like to look around and see if there's an available pass. Exactly. Once he faces the ball, he's okay. But what he does well is that he puts a defender under the pressure. Defender under yeah, that that's one. what I like. Ah. No that's one does like. it better. When he has the ball, do you understand? Yeah. So you put the player, he has the pace, mm. he puts the player under pressure, but he lacks the final pass, the controlling the ball, <laughs> shooting. And that's, that's very important to me as a player. Like, you like, come on, bro, you can't. So to me, once you let those as a player, I just get turned off because I feel like, what are you going to improve with? Because you don't know how to do the basic stuff. Mm. Mm. If you don't know how to put the basic stuff, surely you can't do the most, like, the difficult stuff mm. you can't do them yeah. because in football besides knowing those basic stuff you should use be able to use your brain like you spoke about something lifting your head up to check yeah. what's happening around you it's a brain thing mm. you are using your brain do you understand yeah. so knowing when to chip the ball or to shoot the ball hard or placing the ball it's a brain thing mm. you just don't do it for the sake of it and also it needs coaching as well it just yeah. not it doesn't come natural doesn't come natural. Some of these things don't come natural. But the basic stuff, controlling the ball, you should know. You're That's why I feel like sometimes... That's your job. 
<laughs> That's your job. <laughs> so I feel like sometimes when we waste this foreign spot, I'm sure if you can go to the TTC, we'll find a player exactly like Sahil. The only one can is do exactly what Sahil is doing. We are seeing as we can do that. I I just feel like ooh, 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 what 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 Sahil has, which most players don't have, is also the physicality as a winger. He doesn't get bullied off the ball, which happens to Dupree a lot. He gets bullied off the ball yes. a lot. And as much as he tries, Sona has to rely on pace, kick the ball there and run faster than this guy. But Usaile can still have the ball here and you can be running the same pace as him. But since he's strong enough, you can't take the ball off of him. Then he gets be a paizag. But I feel like Usaile is one of the players who has the highest ceilings because of his physicality and his other attributes in Jenga pace. Because he can totally become that player. He reminds me of sometimes Utriore, Loagui Wolves, and Atugui we full him manch. That guy is Cora Lesia. And he is so big, you cannot pull him off the pole. The problem, Yak, is his last touch when he has to pass, when he has to assist. He can go through seven men. But he will just fail to pick the pass. Players. Yeah. Yes. But he fails to just mm-hmm. pick the pass, which is gonna lead to a goal. So I think he has the very high ceiling, but the problem is he... Yeah, but with him too, Sahil, it's not a matter of let's release him. I'm not no, like yeah, let's keep him. Definitely so not. That, yeah, let's keep him. I think he's going. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping next season is gonna improve. That's what I'm hoping for. Mm. Um so it's not a matter of we really need a winger. Even there, I don't really think it's it's a priority for us to go mm. all out. We need a wing, um, both on both sides. But I do want to say that we need a striker. Mm. We need a scorer, a marksman. We need a scorer now. We don't need hey someone who can who can hold the ball. I um, hope. To give, yeah, as a funny, hi, as a funny, someone who's creating spaces for <laughs> I'm a player. Hi, hi. Oh, the technical cohesion. I want, <laughs> I, uh, I, want change, I, I want a top marksman. <laughs> it like I want a top. I want someone when he has a ball, keep boxing. The player that stays in the box that runs. Shy goal. But the problem, though, Tando, my question, a problem rather is. Isn't Ranga supposed to be that, but they're asking him to play as a false nine? Because Uranga, that's what he was doing, Gokalans. He was staying in the box and scoring goals from mm. there. But Gui Chiefs, he's being asked to drop into midfield, and that's not his game. So if one of Ufuna yeah, I forgot about him. If Ufuna... I forgot about him. Oh, Ranga, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, but I don't know. Do you think we need that striker again? Because I feel like even if they are better than Ranga in terms of how much goals or how many goals they can score, wouldn't it be a problem for them to adjust to each other, given that they want a person who drops into midfield? Yeah, yeah. I do think we need a strike. Even Uranga is there. Mm. I do think we need a strike. I think Uranga, they, they, he gets frustrated. I can see sometimes he gets frustrated it because does. he's like he's not getting the supply he's getting. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Now he has to go and fetch the ball mm. from the midfield. And do you understand? By the time it gets to for crossing, he's not there because he went to fetch the ball mm. in the midfield. So he gets frustrated a lot, and you can see that he. He really wants to make a change at Kavership. And I don't think we should release him. I think he has a cap yeah, now. What I like about him, he has the physicality to hold on to the ball. Mm. Then he also has that mobile of Ula, his mobile like Ushaluli is able to run at defenders as well. He has a powerful shot. It does. Do that, that one he has. He has a powerful shot. Mm. <laughs> he has a powerful shot. Um so, so I do think we, but I do think we have, we need an additional strike. A starter, I do think or we need an additional striker. Uh, 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 I want a, me. I want a start. Mm. I want in striking. I, I want a top man's man. Mm. I want someone. Who, and I want someone to be when Adam season. We should see his name there. Seventeen goals. Yeah. Eighteen goals. Mm. I want to see his name there. Do you understand? I like Uranga, but he's gonna give out at most nine goals. Yeah. Nabut to three. Nine goals, ten goals, but those niggas. 
But we need a top man. We're not speaking. We're speaking about competing for the league. Yeah. We really need a top man. Top marksman. Yeah. If we're speaking about competing for the league, the nine goals and ten goals is not gonna assist us at all. So, so just in conclusion, I think the priority will be the left back, mm. the number ten, and the strike. Yeah. The rest we can do without. The rest, honestly speaking, we can we can still use the players that we have mm. to just make sure that we need to they are coach well and they are they improve as players. Yeah. So I will not be mad. But there are players by the way that need also to be released. Mm. So cool man in the next so in the cool next. Man, some other time. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Did you see part one of this video? Check this video out to see part one of this video where we talk about the coaching and everything else. If you have watched part one, maybe this is time to check out other videos in this channel, like this video, the top five best signings of Kaiser Chiefs in the past eight years. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.